Good morning, amigos. Welcome to Café con Beto, where we talk about real estate. I'm Beto. Uh, this is episode 18, the Federal Reserve Interest Rates in Housing. The Federal Reserve, that is a central bank for the United States, comes with a dual mandate. That means it's got two jobs. One is to promote maximum employment, and one is to have stable prices or fight inflation. To do that, it uses monetary policy. Uh, thank you, Dr. Stewart, by the way. You taught me that. Um, it, uh, what, what, when that means it buys and sells treasuries. It also sets interest rates for the discount window, uh, the overnight rate that commercial banks have to pay to borrow money from each other. And most importantly, number three, it enforces an inflation target. And uh, the idea is to promote price stability. Um, you may remember in June of 2022, inflation peaked at a 40-year high. It was at 9.1%. Now it's down to 2.5%. Buyers, what does that mean? Buyers, it's time to buy. Um, once everybody gets the memo that rates have dropped, it's going to be a rush of buyers driving up the prices. Avoid the bidding war. Give us a call now. Sellers, um, when people are paying lower rates, the price of your property will probably go up. A lot of you guys and gals didn't want to sell because you didn't want to trade in a 3% interest rate for a 6 or 7% interest rate. Well, rates are lower now. Also consider that when you buy your new place, you might have some equity. You might be getting rid of a HOA. You might be downsizing. So for lots of reasons, you might pay the same or less. Finally, if you consider buying or selling, make sure that you have a licensed real estate advisor giving you guidance because there's a lot more to this process than just the rates. Um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, it's really exciting to be in the business. Uh, I look forward to working with you. Whatever you need in real estate, you got a guy, call Beto, 773-744-0238. All right. Bye-bye.